So today we are going to be going through all of the balance changes that are coming with the update, which the update's probably coming tomorrow. I'm just going to guess that. I heard that from a couple people. It's probably coming tomorrow. If not that, then the next day, but it's going to be coming out really soon. So I might as well give my opinion on the balance changes and everything along those lines. And to begin as an overall overview, I think that the balance changes are pretty good, but they missed out on a couple of things and I'll get to that later. And also credit to Coach Corey for this list that I'm putting up on screen. They didn't post anything on Reddit, so this is the only thing that I have to showcase what the numbers actually mean. Anyways, oh, number one, 8-bit, his main attack is being decreased from 340 per shot to 320, and every shot is is six bullets so that's gonna be 120 less damage per full attack if he lands every attack it isn't too much I feel like he still does way too much damage because he still does even more damage than Colt and this is without his super or anything like that so 8-bit is still gonna be really strong I don't see him falling out at all number two this is one that I don't really think they hit it that good with like they nerfed BB two more times which I'm glad about but I feel like she's still gonna be pretty overpowered like she is broken broken she needs a big nerf in order to be balanced that's what i'm saying you know bb's always going to be strong anyways though they nerfed her health by 100 again so now it's down to 4200 at base and they nerfed her spitball damage to 900 from a thousand so they finally nerfed her damage in at least one part of her but i really think that she needs a main attack damage nerf because that main attack literally can three shot most brawlers in the game and it's really annoying how she can do that moving on the piper for once she's finally getting a nerf to her main stats which hasn't happened in a very long time if ever so she's getting a decreased damage at max range from 1640 to 1600 it's literally only 40 less damage it's not going to change that much the only thing that's changing is that she can't one shot tick anymore when she has the ambush star power that's the only change and everything should be normal so sandy he's getting three nerfs he's getting a decreased health by 200 so now it's down to 3800 at base his healing wins is going down from 300 to 200 healing per second and the sandstorm duration his super duration is going down from 12 seconds to nine seconds and i still think it's going to be a little bit too long it might need to be nerfed a little bit more i know before i said i don't want it to be nerfed that much but now i'm starting to realize that he's come completely broken he needs a bigger nerf he's still gonna be like really strong and el primo his el fuego star power damage is going from 1000 to 1200 like it's going up even more they've been buffing that like crazy because meteor rush is really strong and they're nerfing meteor rush again so it's going from 28 percent to 25 they've been consistently nerfing that and at this point like it might not even end up being that good but i think they should keep it here okay they should not nerf it anymore please don't do it please so leon his invisa heal star power is going from 800 healing per second to 1000 so that's like 6000 health if you get every tick on it that's pretty crazy and his super duration for some reason i don't really know why but it's going from seven seconds to six seconds i don't really think he needed that because leon right now isn't too strong but i mean another nerf to leon is kind of making me happy because i don't like going against him anyways and i don't know if this is a buff or a nerf but Bo is just getting a little bit of a rework with the super now the bombs always go in a fixed pattern that's the only change to bow over the last few updates they've been removing rng like crazy which i like you know you never want to have rng in a competitive game tick is getting a nerf to his second star power so it's going from 13 percent faster reload speed to 10 percent but the thing i'm not happy about is the fact that his mind's durations are going back from 1.6 seconds to 2 seconds so now it's just going to be just as annoying as before and it's almost as if he didn't get nerfed at all so i'm kind of sad about that i have no idea why they would buff him again but according to kairos his use rate dropped like crazy Crazy, but I feel like people if, if people started using him again even with that nerf like people would have seen how strong he still is and just would have kept using him so now he's gonna be just where he was before overpowered and for Brock his incinerary star power is going from 500 to 600 nothing much to say on that it's just like El Fuego they've been buffing that like crazy and now it's gonna do a ton of damage to safes and everything like that so that's getting even stronger and here's one that I'm really happy about Crow his original star power is doing 20% less damage instead of 16% from extra time toxic that is awesome i might actually use that one i don't really know which one i should be using i've kind of been switching in between them but now extra toxic is going to be really good because it's actually just giving you more health and it should be something that you can actually tell is happening now because before it felt like you were barely changing anything when you got that reduced damage but now basically if you keep the entire enemy team poisoned then you're going to have a consistent 20 percent shield for the entire match so i think that's pretty cool and daryl like we predicted you know his original star power is going from 25 percent shield to 30 percent and rolling 
reload is actually getting a rework where his reload speed doubles for five seconds after he uses his super where before when he used the super his ammo would all just come back but now it's a bit better even though i don't think it's nearly as good as the shield one because daryl needs that shield like he does not have the health to roll in without it so you know you're never gonna see rolling reload and need is actually getting a quite a bit of buffs so her health is going from 3800 to 4000 that's not too much but her main attack damage is going from 740 to 800 which is a lot of extra damage for a character like her i do think she needed that though because playing as nita i feel like i did absolutely no damage so this should help a quite a bit and gene his magic puffs healing is going from 300 to 400 again i'm never ever using this it's garbage even if they make it like a thousand health per second i'm not going to use it because doing more damage makes it so then you can like three shot most brawlers as gene and that's kind of op i think that they should nerf that one if anything so for poco his decapo is going from 600 heals to 800 heals per shot you land on a teammate which is kind of crazy so you can heal 2400 health if you get every shot off that's a lot of healing without his super even and for spike his increase and for spike his fertilized healing is going from 600 800 just like poco even though i think curveball is going to be strong no matter what i think it's going to be the better option no matter what you do unless they make fertilize really op unless they nerf curveball in some way but curveball literally gives you free damage so i don't see a reason why you would pick fertilize over that and the final change penny is getting a main attack damage from 840 to 900 really similar to nita it's kind of like just a big bump up in her damage and that also means that her burst shots get more damage and I think that makes it so that he can two shot boxes with no power ups. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's how it is. Anyways, though, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, credit to Coach Corey for the entire graph about the balance changes because the Reddit didn't post anything. If it did, then I would have used that instead of this. Let me know what you guys think about the balance changes and the update in general. And I wish I could make videos playing the game. I really do but I can't. iOS 13 got a couple updates, but none of them fixed the Elgato, so I don't know what to do. For now, I'm going to continue making videos on other games, so if you guys could support them, or even just give them a chance, but just by watching them, then I would really appreciate it because I can improve those kind of videos and make them what you want, just on a different game. I'm going to try really hard to make videos on other games as entertaining as possible, and make sure you guys watch the Minecraft Skyblock series because that one is a banger. I really like that video, so make sure you guys go watch that one at least. Anyways, though, with all that being said i will see you guys later and have a good night